All right, guys. So before I start teaching you guys all of the different things that you can add to your web page, the menus, the buttons, the pictures, all of that fun stuff, I want to take a second and explain exactly what this stuff is that's included in the template so we have a little bit better understanding of our starting point. Now, to be honest, most of this stuff is just to make Internet Explorer work properly since Internet Explorer is kind of a weird browser and it's a pain in the butt for web designers. So that's what this is and as you can see I added a little comment normalize.css and modernizer. So normalize and modernizer. These are just uh, libraries that were built to help with Internet Explorer and other browsers um, be compatible. So in other words whenever we design a website we want it to look the same on every single browser so people built these things and then we can just include them really easily so you know we don't have to build them manually and that's what all of this stuff is of course this foundation not CSS file just the basic styling the default styling for the components of course if we ever want to make our own uh, buttons that look different we can do that as well and the last thing are the script tags right here and they just include jQuery and some of the built-in JavaScript that you need for foundation and I'll show you guys why you need JavaScript later on whenever I show you guys like the cool pop-ups and stuff that you can use but basically this is our starting point and most of the code that we're gonna be typing is just gonna go right in here right after your first body tag simple enough so again this is our starting point a blank slate let's go ahead and do something so before we start popping a bunch of stuff in, there's one key concept that you need to remember. Whenever you make a responsive website, it's going to be based on a grid system. And by grid, of course, I just mean rows, left and right, and columns, up and down. Now, you can have as many rows as you want. So the more rows that you have, of course, the longer or taller your web page is going to be. But whenever you use columns, you always have to have 12 columns. I'm going to repeat that because it's really important. Whenever you use foundation, whenever you make any web page using foundation, it's based on a 12 column layout. So you can have unlimited number of rows, but only 12 columns. Now you don't actually have to have like 12 individual columns. So for example, if you only wanted a left menu and content on the right, then you could say that your left menu is like four columns wide and your right is eight columns wide. So you have two sections. If you just want to have one big section, then you're just going to have one column that's 12 wide. So you can't go over 12 and you can combine them in any way you want. And that's what we're going to see right now. So like I said, the first thing that we always need is a row. So for this example, it's going to be really easy. We're just going to make a single row. And in order to define row, we just say class row. So hey, foundation, we're about to make a row. So now it says, OK, if you're using foundation, you need to follow one rule. You need to have 12 columns. So I'm going to make a div. And I'll just say, uh, let's do 4, 6, and 2. So 12. So 4. And I might as well do it this way. So whenever you make uh, your first column, what you do is you say class medium and see all these things, medium dash 10, medium dash 12. This is saying how wide is this column going to be? Well, the first one, first one is just going to be four. So my first column is going to be four wide. So since we needed 12, we have eight more to take care of. So I'm going to say uh, 6 and 2. So 6, 6, and 2, and 2, just like that. Now, we actually need to add one other class to these, and that is columns. So this div right here is going to span 4 columns. This one right here is going to span 6, and this one right here is going to span 2. Now, if I just run this right now, it's going to be a little bit difficult to see what's going on. So I'm actually going to add one other background color, just so it's really easy to see. And I'll just uh, be like background uh, light blue. So let me just 
Set this one to light blue, this one to be like light uh, salmon, and this one will just be like uh, light green. Look at this. You see, it gave me the suggestions whenever I started typing, but then when it popped up for me, it said there's a typo in it. Well, JetBrains, you shouldn't have gave me the free suggestion if there's a typo in it. That's your problem. All right, so check it out. So we made one row, as we can see right here, and the reason that they are different widths is because even though this is 12 columns, this div right here spans four of them, this one spans six, and this one spans two. And like I was saying, if you just want to have one main column, then what you can actually do is cut this and change this to 12 and check it out. So you can either have 12 that take up one, um, you can either have you know one big column that take up all, all 12, if you want to have it exactly split then just have 6 and 6 or whatever you want to do that's up to you. So actually let me just go ahead and do this right now to show you guys a little bit clearer what's going on. So for the first row I'm gonna make all my columns different and for the second row I'll just um, have a layout that's divided exactly in half so I'll be like light gray for this. So check it out. And of course in here what we would do is we would typically put our items and I'll show you guys all the different items you can add later on. So maybe in this two, if we wanted our navigation on the right, we would add all our navigation items. If we wanted some heading in this one, we could do that. Whatever we want to do. But remember, whenever you're working with websites in foundation, every single layout is going to be composed of rows, however many you want. And inside those rows, you're going to have 12 columns. So make sure that your columns add up to 12. So there you go. We're now ready to move on to some more advanced stuff. It's going to be awesome. See you next video.